Okay, everyone, last day up here in the sunny coast, and we are having a bit of a rainy day outside. Uh, so our plan was to maybe go kayaking on one of the rivers, um, but I think we are just going to go to Buddharim, uh, go check out the local cafe scene. I've heard they've got very good vegan and veggie options. And then we might go to a waterfall, depending on the weather, so we'll see. So we have made it up to Buddharim in the rain and we have found a little spot called Cafe V. I actually found it on my Google Maps when I was searching in Buddharim for somewhere to go. I had pinned it, uh, I don't know when, but anyway, I was searching in the area, saw the pin and we came here and it's so nice. It's like a big like pavilion style uh, cafe seating area. Uh, they have an outdoor area which is kind of undercover at the moment from the rain. Um, but the menu looks incredible. Everything is plant based and they even have their own animal sanctuary uh, which you can support just by eating here. Corey's been treated extra special today. He asked for something special at the counter of the cafe. They said he liked mocha and they said you like chocolate and he said yes and they said they know what to do. They brought out a deconstructed mocha for him and it looks really exciting. There's even a vegan marshmallow. Ooh. I've gone for brioche, it's got scrambled tofu, bacon and a homemade patty in there and Corey's gone for a, looks like a chicken burger, a chicken burger, it's got bacon in there, that's a vegan cheese and that looks like a crispy styled chicken which he's very excited about. Yeah so this is Cafe V's take on KFC. And it looks good. It has such a good tasting burger. Um, crumb, homemade chicken patty, lettuce, it's got fake bacon in there, and also a zinger sauce. And I think they've done the Colonel proud. Okay, what's the plan? We are going to go to Sharanti Pools, a waterfall in Budrum. Um, it's only a short walk to get there once you're parked up, so. While there's no rain and there's a bit of sunshine, we're gonna go and check it out. All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the hike down to Serenity Falls is a very short one. It's only 300 meters, um, but it is a little bit sort of walking over rocks and roots and things. Uh, so you do need to be a little bit stable on your feet. Uh, and when it's raining, it's a little bit juicy. So we're at Budrum Forest Park here and now this is Frenchy Falls behind me. You can swim here and that's what a lot of people are doing today. It's really nice under those falls. It's quite a small area but a beautiful spot to have a cool down from the Queensland sun. Also there is this really cool bridge but it's closed right now because they're doing repairs but we would love to come back and have a walk on that bridge. I think it's such a good spot for photos. It's getting busy here now. Actually today is Valentine's Day. So I think a lot of people are making the most of this clearing in the weather and going out on a quick date so they don't get into trouble. <laughs> but yeah, we just got a nice photo. We're trying to capture more of Australia's natural beauty in our photos, I think. Um, so hopefully this one shows that. I mean, being cool. There's some very perfectly shaped holes here in the rock formation. And apparently Corey knows the answer. So, what happens is a little indent in the rock will form and then something will get trapped in there, usually a little uh, pebble or rock or something. And then over a long, long time, it just slowly swirls around in there and carves out these, these little holes. And they're not perfect circles, but they, they do make some pretty cool holes. And if you go exploring like um, caves and places where there's been like water rushing through and like carved out the cave system, uh, you will see all the smooth walls carved out by rocks and stuff, and that is the same process. Yeah. <laughs> 
once you finish all the way down walking to the bottom of Serenity Falls, you can actually follow the creek all the way along on this beautiful boardwalk that they've built down here. It's really wide, really feels open here, and you're just next to the, or underneath the canopy of the rainforest, and it's really beautiful. first and we didn't actually know that you could walk all the way through to the other end of the park which is another car park entrance so it was about 1.3 1.3 kilometers so we just thought we were just popping down to the waterfall but we did this beautiful boardwalk walk all the way through however i'm a little bit thirsty i did not bring anything with me Right, so we're going to end our day up here in Lions Park, looking back over the coast, all the sunshine coast of Mooloolaba. But this is where we're going to end today's vlog. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next week.